good friend. <laughs> this is Mr. Nabuto, colleague and game warden of one of our largest preserves. You know, when Interpol told me you were in Europe, I could not believe my good fortune. And they told me that you're having a problem on one of your game preserves. Poaching on a very large scale. The uh, Maasai tribes? Definitely not Maasai. Mr. Nagutu is a Maasai, and he assures me it is not his people. How uh, large a scale is large? Organized poaching. 14 to 1,600 game animals a year. What evidence do you have? None. You're missing 14 to 1,600 game animals a year, and you have no evidence? No bones, no carcasses, nothing? We have a very advanced film laboratory here. We do our own processing. Uh, this is an aerial photograph of the entire preserve divided into separate areas. Uh, with the enlargement of each area, we can keep an exact accounting of each herd. Uh, these photographs, taken at various periods in time, clearly indicate that the size of the herds are being lessened. It was in desperation that I got in touch with Interpol. And you, uh, you have no leads whatsoever? This afternoon, you will meet the man responsible for the poaching. Mr. Nogutu has his own theory. Well, I'd like very much to hear it. Trevor Masters, a white hunter. He never made the adjustment to the camera safari. He is a hunter in the old style. He will never understand anything else. It is in his blood. It's a way of life. Party, please. There is a party up the river at Saunders Plantation this afternoon. That is why you'll meet Masters. You will help us get the proof we need. Do you think Masters is guilty? We shared more than ecological beliefs from our days at the UN. We shared a belief that a man is innocent until proven guilty. I still cling to that belief. But Trevor Masters is the old Africa. He will die before its spirit dies in him. Mr. Hardy, your sons are here. Ah, Joe, Frank, this is the Minister of the Interior. Hello, how do you do? Nice Mr. Minister, you. these are my sons, Joe It's a pleasure. and Frank. With your permission, they'll be helping me in my investigation. You mean that many years have passed since our days at the UN? <laughs> <laughs> I guess they have. Animals are being hunted and destroyed. We must stop their suffering. Well, yeah, um, what's in the game plan here? Well, I've rented you a Land Rover, and I've booked you on the camera safari tomorrow morning. I'm going to follow the leads in town, and I'll stay in touch with Interpol. What are we looking for? I don't know exactly. Look. <laughs> <laughs> But I do think it's a good idea to stay close to Masters. We'll keep our ears open. Good is pretty certain about Masters, isn't he? Yes. I wish he was a little more interested in some proof. Is there some place we can stay that'll be close to Masters? We're coming in now, and there's Nagutu. Let's ask him. Come on, I'll introduce you. Good afternoon. You're right on time, right on time. Come with me. Sanders has graciously provided us with entertainment. Quite a place, huh? Fabulous dancers, huh? Those guys are burning. I'd love to talk music with them. He's a friend of mine. I'll introduce you if you like. Gee, that'd be real nice. I I'm Frank Hardy. Sarah, Masters. Oh, your father must be Trevor Masters. That's right. You here for the safari? Yeah, yeah. I am, yeah. Hi. I, I'm Joe Hardy. I don't get introduced very often. I kind of tag along to entertain him, you know, joke songs. Yeah, he's my younger brother. Uh, my, uh, will you be going on the safari? Yep. It's going to be my last one. I don't 
remember your names on my father's list? It was sort of a last minute decision. Yeah. Time to go. Oh, but we just got here. Well, we got a lot of work to do before tomorrow. Well, Mr. Saunders is our host. We shouldn't really leave without saying goodbye to him. After all, it is his last week in Africa. <laughs> Saunders retires every year. The day he actually packs up and leaves Africa. That'll be the day I hang up my rifle for good. We heard you already did that. Oh, uh, Father, this is Frank and Joe Hardy. No, son. You don't hang up your rifle, not in the bush. Not if you want to survive. I think what my brother meant was that your safaris are now photo safaris rather than hunting safaris. I'm afraid Mr. Master sometimes confuses the two. You never stay alive in the bush if you confuse things. No, I always know what I'm aiming at. Mr. Masters, Fenton Hardy, Frank, Joe, Mr. Sanders, our host. Will you be able to put the boys up during the safari? I've got the room, but not the inclination. You know my rules about visitors? Well, I wouldn't want you to go to any trouble. Then why did you ask? Mr. Mestas is famed throughout Kenya for his candor. I am glad he has not disappointed us. But you see, the hotels are full. This is a favor I ask an old friend. In light of, of well, the many experiences we have shared together. You're gonna push me one step too far. I don't know what game you're playing now, but I'm gonna go along with it. Do you know why? For the sport of it. You understand? You're both welcome to stay at the house. But for your own safety, you must stay within the house and the grounds. Excuse me. We'll be sorry to see you leave, Mr. Saunders. Oh, thank you, my dear. But I do think it's time that the old colonials gave way to the new Africa. The old lion goes out. New lion comes in. <laughs> I shan't be sorry to leave this godforsaken country. Thirty years of breaking my back with hundred degree temperatures. Oh, you have not done too badly out of the old Africa, my friend. I sometimes think your winnings at the blackjack tables far outweigh your rubber exports. <laughs> Merely a diversion to relieve the monotony. No, I shan't be sorry to leave this place. Some of us, however, will never get used to the ways of civilization. He finally decided that I was worth getting worked up over, so he attacked. I dropped to one knee, waited. Doc Wilson here was praying so hard that I couldn't hear the rhino charge. <laughs> <laughs> when he was close enough, I shot him, but he kept on coming. I wanted to shoot him again when my gun jammed. I was just about ready to give up when the rhino dropped at my feet. Doc Wilson here was carted off to the hospital. He was released three months later for minor shock. <laughs> <laughs> I think on that one, I'll go get a drink. <laughs> Perhaps next time you should tell the story from the rhino's point of view. Whatever happened to the old Messiah test of manhood? When a man and an animal were locked together in battle until one or the other of them died. I suppose as Africa changed, so did Messiah test of manhood. And not all Messiahs were softened by foreign boarding schools. Harvard toughens you to the realities of life and of death. Mr. Nagutu, I'd like all of these people here to know exactly what your veiled accusations really mean. If you've got any proof that my father is a game killer, then show it to us. Well, do you? I had the evidence of my own reasoning and instinct. Well, I'm talking about proof. Sarah, that's enough. It's not enough. I'm sorry we've disrupted your party. We'll be leaving now. Wild animals aren't the only thing I think we're gonna have to worry about in this safari. I know what you mean. I was just thinking that she seemed more than upset, Joe. 
She seemed frightened. Frightened for her father, for his way of life. You like him, don't you? Yeah. He symbolized something. Romanticism. The lone hunter against the wild elements. The old Africa. Something like that. Yeah, well, just remember, we're here because masters may be slaughtering thousands of animals. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Because of masters? Or because his daughter believes in him so strongly? pictures the ones of you and mother before the war mm -hmm. before Nagutu came that outburst this afternoon that was uncalled for but I appreciated it does Nagutu know how much you've done to preserve wildlife in this country he's got his reasons political motivations you mean don't let him trouble you He'll be out of here soon enough. I'm not leaving you. Oh, yes, you are. You're going back to that school. That matter is settled. That was your mother's last wish. It's getting late. Get some sleep. Okay. You know, you are a very special person. Hey, did you really mind the Hardy Boys staying here? No, but watch him. Why? Call it an old hunter's instinct. An awareness. Okay. Hey, listen, don't stay up too late, all right? You're looking awfully tired. Good night, Daddy. Good night, honey. going this late. water with the elephant to get some pictures. This is close enough. Back in the car is close enough. Let us go, boss. Okay, get back in the truck. I don't want anyone leaving their vehicles. This is a wild animal preserve, gentlemen. It's not the Central Park Zoo. I hope you don't think you can take extra privileges because you're a guest in my home. We're sorry. We just wanted to get a little closer. Don't let it happen again. Get back in the car. I don't want anyone wandering off. The next person that does is going to get thrown off the safari. All right, let's go.
What do you see out there? Memories. I see a little girl with long pigtails wandering off by herself and finding a baby lion cub. And I see a, a tall white hunter standing his ground and firing at a panther that was charging with the speed of light. And I see an older girl, maybe about 12 this time, with the same pigtails, <clears throat> walking with her mother on a night just like tonight. They sound like good memories. Mm -hmm. Some of them are. The ones worth remembering, anyway. You know, I guess I'm saying goodbye, too. I'm leaving for the United States next week. But this is always going to be my home. Doesn't it get lonely for you out here? Well, I had my father, you know. That's not what I meant. I know what you meant. Yes, well, this is an interesting species. Frank, the minister loaned us this darkroom to assist us with our investigation. Not to print pictures of Sarah. Joe. Look here, in the bottom corner. That looks like a dead elephant. Let's get closer. Still not sure. We blow this up some more? Well, we're gonna lose all definition pretty soon, but we can try. It is a dead elephant. Where are the tusks? Well, that's the point. They've already been removed. And this is just the evidence Dad's been looking for. It still doesn't directly implicate Masters. Remember how quick he was to get us out of there? He wanted us out of there fast. Masters didn't want us to see that elephant. He knew it was there. Now I know what they mean when they say a detective shouldn't get emotionally involved in his work. Oh, were you getting emotionally involved? I was thinking about it. Just keep thinking, Frank. That's what you're good at. What are you boys doing here so early this morning? Well, has anyone else seen these yet? No. Come with me. Where to? To the location where you took these pictures. You do remember where the location is? Well, of course. We, we wanted to show them to our father. First. He can see them when we return. Uh, I have to go to my office for one minute. We will leave immediately. Do you get the feeling we're being steamrolled? You don't think he's in too much of a hurry to pin on Masters, do you? <laughs> Where do you want to go now, huh? Uh, oh. good visit. Oh, no, we have another couple of places to go. Okay, whatever you say, I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Your sisters? But of course, there's Dorothy, there's Linda, and there's Marsha. <laughs> well, you just make sure we have enough supplies for the safari to go into the northern preserve. I want to go as far as the Kahali Falls. Now, you map that out for me. 
Well, I'll make the arrangements, but I may not accompany you. After all these years? Gamut safaris are not like the old days. Plus, you see what I got. <laughs> I need a rest. I'm gonna miss you, Kino. One more safari. <laughs> okay. should be over. Let me see this. This is it. We're in the right place. Maybe you are mistaken. It could be a rock or a shadow. No, no. It can't be a shadow. Look at this. It's got ears. It's got a shape. There's a trunk. I don't understand it. Hey, where are you going? To the radio. I want to call some assistant game wardens to help us in the search. What do you think? Do you, could someone have taken it during the night? Well, there are no tracks, there are no indentations. A dead elf would have to be carried out of here by a truck. Right? What are you saying? There was a shadow? There was nothing really there? I'm saying that if evidence has been removed, that it was obliterated on purpose. This is someone knew we'd found the elephant. <laughs> tried to kill us today. You're a liar. He followed us down from town and stampeded a herd of rhino at us. We all might have been killed. Is that true? About the stampede? Yes. Somebody deliberately started the stampede with gunshots. How long ago did this happen? About an hour ago. My father has been upstairs taking a nap for over an hour. Then go and wake him. Tell him I wish to speak to him. Look, he's tired. He starts another safari tomorrow. I am not going to go upstairs and wake him just so he can listen to your baseless accusations. I'd like to hear what they have to say before I throw them all off my land. You tried to kill us today because we had found evidence of your poaching. If I'd been shooting at you, you'd be dead. I don't miss what I aim at. You did not miss. The stampeding rhino were going to do the job for you. You're getting paranoid. I even start stampedes now, do I? Yes. With gunshots. You're out of your mind. Then you will not mind my examining your rifle. I fired at some jackals who were disturbing a wounded antelope. How many shots? Three or four, I don't know. I didn't count them. But I did. If you can't prove your allegations, then get off my land. Go on, get off, all of you. Respect and understand your feelings, but do you still think the old ways are dead? Your father is a killer, and always will be. But I am going to get him. Make no mistake about that. Sarah? Go away, 
and leave me alone. I don't like talking to spies. I'm not a spy. Oh, you're not? Then what are you doing spending all of your time with Nagutu, the man who's trying to ruin my father? I'm trying to help your father. You've got to believe that. Yeah, well, I don't. Who are you? What do you mean? I mean, who are you? Why, why have you come here to live in our house, and what do you want from us? Hey, get off my land. Mr. Masters... Frank said he was trying to help. My father's a private detective who was hired to pin the poaching on me. Can you deny it? It's true, my father's a detective. But he was hired to find the guilty person. If you're innocent... Go on, get off my land. I'd like to know where Masters goes at night. He won't give an explanation. It seems pretty obvious he's hiding something. Maybe that's why I got so mad at you. That's a quick exit. You really think Masters would have thrown you out? I wasn't going to stick around and find out. It'd be the second time today. I've been thinking. I thought I was supposed to do the thinking. And Nagutu could have started that stampede himself. Where? What are you talking about? Try this on for size. Masai is doing the poaching. We take a photograph accidentally. Nagutu is a Masai. He makes a phone call and has, has the elephant removed before we ever arrive by the Maasai. And the only ones who know about it are your friendly, hard-working young detectives, Frank and Joe Hardy. Nagutu wanted to get rid of us. Remember how eager he was to get us out there with the pictures without Dad? Yeah, but Nagutu is the one who brought Dad in. Maybe he had no choice. Government orders. That's fine, except for one thing. What? Master standing in the doorway with a gun he'd recently fired. He may have been telling the truth. Maybe. Maybe. But then why wouldn't he say exactly where he'd been? How did Sarah react? I don't think she believed him either. I know she didn't believe me. Sorry. What we have to work out is this poaching. We've got one clue, a photograph of an elephant with no tusks. That's our one piece of evidence. How do you remove an elephant? Well, that's it. That's what we've been overlooking. How do you move an elephant without leaving tracks? Maybe a tractor or a crane or something. Yeah, but they leave tracks. Look at look at how close the elephant is to the river. What if what if a tractor or crane removed the elephant from the river? Well, they'd have to come out and they'd have to leave tracks. Not if the elephant was carried downstream to a place where the terrain was rocky and then removed from the river to the road. How shallow do you think this water is? It's shallow enough. Well, there's one way to find out. Look. Big fat rubber tire marks. And blood. Dried blood. Tractors or cranes? That's right. Well, I did have some till about three months ago. In fact, I sold off six or seven pieces. I'm leaving the country now. Did you remember who you sold them to? Yes, old Bradshaw lives down the river 50 miles. He took six. That's what we wanted to know. But he's been out of the country two months. Well, you said uh, maybe seven. Who did you sell the seventh to? Trevor Masters. I've just wired the school board. I told them you'd be arriving on the 23rd. I'm not going anywhere. Not until you level with me. About what? About what's been going on around here for the last six months. Oh. So you don't believe me either. I know what you believe. I know what you understand. Killing, right? The old white hunter, who can't adapt to the new ways, sits in his trophy room, reliving past glories. Well, let me tell you, it was glorious. There was nothing cruel or inhumane about it. It had elegance, style, grace. It was man against beast. Two hunters, each noble, each cunning, both worthy. Old Africa was Africa. The new ways will destroy it. And that's why you can't give it up? Poaching isn't killing animals for food or sport. It's for money, and it's slaughter. I won't go. You don't have any choice. You know you wouldn't make me do this if Mother were still alive. Your mother is not alive. The subject is closed. You leaving Africa tomorrow is planned. Well, 
no matter which way we turn, all roads seem to lead to the Great White Hunter. What do you think? Do we go back? What other choice do we have? I don't know. I don't feel right about this. Masters would throw us out on sight. You know that. Hey, Frank, look at that. Look, at it. it's dried blood. It's the same like we found on the rocky ground. The bottom half looks like it went through water. Look at this. For more evidence? I think we found what we were looking for. What is that? You trying to plant that for Nagutu? We found it right here. Don't you know there's a law against trespassing? Are you threatening us again? Is that what you want to believe? All the proof we need. Arrest him. understand being depressed when you can't solve a case, but, but this one... Open and shut. You boys are to be congratulated. You brought out in the open an atrocity that's been going on in this reserve for years. I still can't believe it from Trevor Masters. To me, he's always been the salt of the earth. Well, maybe he just couldn't accept progress. I find it very hard myself. It's very hard to give up something when it's become your lifestyle. It gets in your blood. I shall hate leaving this place. Of course, if I win any more at the tables, I may reconsider. Ignite? Yes, I want to pack it. I almost feel guilty about it with Masters facing that hearing tomorrow. Well, anyway, good show. And I speak on behalf of all the plantation. I have to go see Nagutu. I've got a few last-minute things to settle. I'll meet you back here. Cheer up, will you? I know you liked him, you liked both of them. But you can't change facts. The detective can only interpret them. Remember that. I don't think Masters did it. His dad said facts are facts. Well, forget about what dad said and forget about the facts for a minute, all right? Let's concern ourselves with some of the what-ifs. It's not exactly the logic of a detective talking. But I'm inclined to agree with you. If 
Masters didn't do it, then he was framed beautifully, and we helped out beautifully. If he wasn't going out late at night to poach, what was he doing? And why would he say what he was doing, especially in the face of the trial hearing? Maybe he was trying to protect someone. He's got kind of a man. Maybe he's another woman. Maybe. I think there's only one woman in Master's life. Let's go talk to him. We're the last people you want to see tonight. That's right. But we have something to say to you, and you're going to listen to us. My father stands before a preliminary hearing tomorrow because of you two. What could you possibly have to say to me tonight? That we think he's innocent. How can you think he's innocent when I'm not even sure of it myself? Look, instinct is one thing, but we need facts. If you got anything, anything at all that would help to explain your father's strange behavior, his absences without explanation. No, I can't tell you anything. I don't know where he goes at night. I'm Dr. John Wilson. Perhaps I can help. Sit down, please. Sarah wanted to stay home alone tonight, but I insisted that she get out of the house for a little while. She's uh, told me all about you. I'm probably her dad's oldest friend. I know him very well. Trevor Masters would never break a game law. He says that Africans feel about their game preserves the same way Americans and Europeans feel about their cathedrals and museums. To destroy a game preserve would be like bombing a museum. Either way, you're tearing up a nation's past. Dr. Wilson, you said you could help us. Yes. Sarah. Sarah, you have to know this. Your father's dying. What? Trevor Masters is dying. Just look at him. What do you think makes him act the way he does? It's his heart. He's been trying to keep it from Sarah and from everybody else. He's got a heart condition. He didn't want her to waste her life trying to take care of him the way her mother did. That's why he's sending her away to school. That's why he's been making those secret trips alone. That's right. He's been coming to see me. I've been treating his illness. Saturday the 17th, the day of the stampede. Did he come to you? I don't know anything about any stampede. He was with me all the time. But he's got only a year to live at best. Now with this trial coming up. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. I'm afraid it won't help him now. I'm sorry, but we'll find something out before the hearing. I really want to believe you. I guarantee it. You're making some pretty big promises, aren't you, Frank? If Masters didn't fire the shots at the rhinos, then who did? The Gutu? Nagutu couldn't have planned the evidence. He can't get within 10 miles of Master's place without being run off. What about Kino? He's got an easy access. He comes and goes as he pleases on Master's farm. But is he in it alone? Or is he in it alone with Nagutu? That's something we have to find out. Masters is innocent. We need your help. It is tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., main entrance to the game preserve. Only you can help us, Kino. You know we want to help Mr. Masters. Here's your chance. He's innocent. We can prove it. Don't turn around. We'll see you tomorrow, 6 a.m., the game preserve. Officer. Number, please. Operator, give me two, four, six, two, two, one. Two, four, six, two, two, one. Is that the number Kahina was talking about? Hello. Listen to me carefully. The Hardy boys just told me that they have proof that Masters is innocent. 
They want me to meet them early in the morning. What do you want me to do? I'll get on it right away. All right, hurry up! I'm not paying you double money for nothing. You! You see the sign says fragile? Take it easy! Everything is going well. We should be out of here in about 15 minutes. Oh, yes. I reserved two cameras aboard. Save it, Sanders, for the magistrate. We have Kino. And when we open those crates and find ivory, I think it will be all we'll need to clear Trevor Master. I suspected a trap. But you see, I couldn't take the chance. But why, Sanders? A legacy from colonial days. Money, parties, gambling airplanes, power. You can't give that up easily after 30 years. Oh, I felt sorry for Trevor, but you wanted him so badly. And when things started to come apart, you framed him with Kino's help. And my obsession played right into your hands. Take him out of here. Would you come with us, please? your son's a debt of gratitude. I regret I can only pay it with a handshake. I think it's masters we all owe a debt to. That will not be so easy to repay. You may be surprised. It is sometimes hard to say you are wrong, but Mr. Masters, my humblest apologies. I'll accept yours if you accept mine. There's an old African proverb. When two bulls battle, it is generally the ground beneath their feet that suffers. I've lived in Africa 37 years. It's the first time I've heard that one. Oh, we used to say it at Harvard all the time. <laughs> Will you stay in Kenya? The camera safaris are bringing in revenue that we need desperately. We need a good hunter. And you are the very best. I'll think about it. You're going to be leaving soon, huh? Tomorrow. You'll be going to school in America? No. I'm going to stay here with my father for as long as he needs me. Kwama a makwa etal wombete. What does that mean? It means... I'll always miss you. Kip shumelika shombe wa. What does that mean? It means we'll be going for a walk. See you tonight. How do you like that? I'm the one who really solved this case, you know. I, I thought of the tractor in the river. I thought of how to set up Kino. How come he gets the girl? Well, Joe, Frank is the... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. He's the oldest. When do I get to be the oldest? Ha, 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 ha.